So after failing multiple Shopify dropshipping products, not achieving that $100,000 goal, I made $11,000 Shopify dropshipping. This is exactly how I did it. So the first step to building any successful store, it really comes down to your product. Without a good product, you don't have a good store. So the method and the basic research method I did was I whipped out my phone. I started scrolling through TikTok made me buy it. And now when looking through TikTok made me buy it, you want to filter to the last six months and the like count there, you can see the last Last recent products that have gone viral and if a product is still selling currently nobody's just gonna sit there and waste their time it's clearly selling and there's clearly a demand for it so now it's your chance to sit there and revamp the store or sit there and make a whole brand new dropshipping store around it after scrolling mindlessly at 11 a.m in bed all by myself no alone i came across a tiktok i've just picked up this heated jacket from warmsy you've got three different heat modes that you can switch between and all you have to do is plug in your power bank uh, and it just slips inside the inside pocket like this and then it heats up your hands really nice and warm as well as your back so i mean after seeing this product i knew it was a winner now why it was a winner was because think of it as this it was cold outside it was winter time and i mean even myself i could even use that product so what did i do well I placed the order on amazon now for a lot of you people saying tristan why did you buy it off amazon well because the content that we're going to be doing is ugc based now what ugc is is user generated content what that is is basically sitting there posting TikToks of you using the product, right? Because on TikTok, these straight Facebook ads, they do well, but UGC content has been seen to do well, especially with the method that we're gonna be doing, TikTok organic, I know for a fact that we could go viral. So let's say all of a sudden you start generating views. We hit that magical 10 million view count. What does it look like when somebody goes to your store? Well, what they're gonna do, they're gonna click in your bio, they're gonna go to your store, they're gonna check out your product, click add to cart, and hopefully magically they click the checkout and they click the buy now button. Here in my garage, just bought this uh, new Lamborghini. So the advertising method that we're going to be doing or that I was doing was TikTok organic. What you do is you whip out your phone and what you do is you film three to five pieces of content per day posting about your TikTok, adding a little bit of controversy, using some viral type sound and just overall adding to your page and warming up the account. Oh. Week one. Nothing happened. We had no sales. The account was dry. We were maximum getting 500 to 1,000 views, and we knew that we had to make a change. Instead of sitting there and just showcasing the product, we knew we had to add a little bit of spice to our videos. How to confuse your friends this winter? Get a self-heating jacket. They make those. It'll be comfy while they're freezing. That's pretty cool. That's pretty dope. Now, why we did this is because think of it as this, when you add controversy or any kind of wow factor into a video, it farms engagement and people are sitting there saying, oh my God. And well, in week two, something crazy happened. In week two, not only did one of our videos get over 800,000 views, but one night at 3 a.m., while I was sleeping, we got our first drop shipping sale. Now I thought I was just in another dream. I made $10 million and what? I was the next Iman Godzi, but it wasn't it. We just generated one sale. Now, I mean, generating one sale, it was our first sale. I was completely happy, but I knew there was more work to do because we were generating 30 to 50K views now this week. And I knew for a fact that if we kept repeating this process that we would generate more. And well, as the video kept popping off, yeah, you know that Shopify notification wasn't going away. Generating sales and sales sales and sales, we started to see success with our first dropshipping store. I mean, with our first dropshipping store of 2022, we were succeeding. We were going somewhere until the chargebacks. Let's say you get a chargeback. Now what a chargeback is, is basically when a customer receives a faulty product or a product that just doesn't work or isn't as advertised, well, what they can do is they can dispute the payment and what happens, you lose that money. So with what happened is we started getting a ton of chargebacks, a ton of disputes, and the reasoning behind it is because our supplier messed us up. They were shipping out orders with no battery packs with our heated jacket, leaving the whole heated jacket process of the jacket to not even be relevant. So what happened is after chargebacks and after chargebacks and after so many dropshippers realized that our store was becoming successful, what happened is so many people started advertising our product, started creating dropshipping stores and well, our product was saturated. I mean, we were maybe generating a hundred to two hundred dollars a day, but we were getting much more chargebacks and sales. So we basically had to do the one thing that every dropshipper does not want to do. We closed the store. Now you're probably like, Tristan, why did you close the store? Well, because it was unprofitable. At that point, we were getting much more chargebacks 
than actual sales. The store wasn't popping off. The views were going much lower. And ultimately, our market was getting saturated. I mean, you can only post so much until your product gets saturated on TikTok Organic, just as what happened with our product. So many dropshippers were copying our product and we knew we had to close the store. And when issues like this occur, when your manufacturer, of course, doesn't ship out the right product. So many drop shippers come in and start replicating your product and you ultimately just aren't profitable. It's about time you call it a journey and you shut down the store. That's exactly what we did. But it was the only thing we could do. The chargebacks, the sales, they weren't there. And with our final store, we made $11,000, but we could have made much more if we make sure our supplier was the right supplier. The shipping times were on time. And ultimately, we, if we had a VA answering all of our customer support emails, ultimately resulting in less chargebacks and a better customer service. So with this video coming to an end and this being one of my first videos, I hope you guys actually learned a little bit more about me, my journey, and of course, one of my successful Shopify dropshipping stores that did end up in a big mess up. But if you guys do wanna see more videos like this, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you're still here watching this, comment down in ecom. I'll make sure to respond to you. And this is literally our first video. And I'm gonna tell you guys right now, if you're seeing this, you're very early. I'm looking forward to making more videos for you guys. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.